Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video and for choosing to be here. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Haywig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. And I'm so glad you're here for this video wig review update or update of a wig review video. <laughs> um, I am here today to give you an update on Belle Madame's Isabella Mono. I have done a review on this wig already. I love this wig and I know one of the biggest complaints that I hear from my wig sisters is that there aren't enough or barely any videos out there that give updates on how wigs are wearing over time. And I'm as guilty as any other reviewer on this topic because I do have a lot of wigs. I'm very, very blessed to have a lot of wigs. I review a lot of wigs and therefore I don't wear any one particular wig a lot. And it makes it really hard to give updates on how they're wearing. Well, Today, I want to do that. So on my head right now is Isabella Mano by Belle Madame. This is in the color Dark Copper Root. I will link my original video review in the description box so that you can watch it if you haven't already seen it because this is just an update on how is she wearing, what are my impressions of her now. I've had her for about nine months and I have worn her a lot, a lot, a lot, like many, many 13 hour days, many, many, partial days, many throw on the head, go to the grocery store, come home and take my wig off days. 30, potentially 30 plus times I have worn her. I have washed her, I believe two times. And I do try to go between seven and 12 wears before I wash a wig. This one, I can go quite a while without washing. So that'll kind of give you a sense. And I'm wearing her right now in one of my favorite ways to wear this style in a clip uh, so that I keep her off my face. I'm going to take her down so you can see her, but I thought I'd come to you after wearing her all day. I just touched up my makeup, but I did wear her all day today, and I just can't rave enough about this one. I love her. I'll tell you my few complaints that I have, but overall, she is fabulous. If you're on the fence about this one or if you're looking for a chin-length wavy bob, Isabella Mano, if you can wear a smallish cap, it should be on your list. So if you're curious, stick around. I'll give you the rest of the details in a quick couple of minutes. First of all, let me show you all around. So this is her after all day. I wore her all day yesterday. I have, like I said, I've worn her so many times. I actually have a video that I'll probably link as well showing how, um, why wigs get clumpy, I think is how I titled it or why they, you know, kind of change how they feel after a little bit of time. And it's because they get dirty and they need to be washed. And Isabella was my example wig for that video. So I did show how she started to look after I started to realize she probably needed a wash and then how great she felt and looked after I washed her. And so this is such a good wig for a lot of examples. But so let's look at the lace front before I pull her off. This lace front front is fantastic. Belle Madame calls these lace fronts that they use super fronts. And they're just so realistic, so fine. And the knotting is so fine. I mean, look at on this dark color, how awesome that knotting is. They do such a good job. And I'll pull out this clip and just kind of give you a sense. I'm trying not to turn off. This is my little phone remote because I'm filming this on my phone because I just wanted to do a quick one and didn't want to set up my camera. All right, so here she is. Like, bear in mind, I've worn her now many, I think this is probably the sixth or seventh wear since I last wash her, washed her, and I've been wearing her up in that clip a lot. She doesn't really hang in my face, so I don't feel the need to have to clip her up. It just makes it a real easy, casual style for running around all day and not really having to worry about my hair. Um, the only complaint, like I said, I have, I guess, is not really a complaint. It's just um, is what it is. This cap runs really small. It runs smaller than Ellen Villa. So if you've tried an Ellen Villa cap and those are tight on you, this one runs smaller. I got to show you guys. So the coverage on this is not awesome. So I just actually buzzed my hair again and I shaved it really far down, but all of that's my hairline. And when I don't buzz my hair, you'd be able to see hair all along that lighter part of my head. 
So it definitely doesn't have great coverage on me. The ear tabs sit way above my ears. You can see that there. Whereas a, a wig with good coverage, that ear tab would be right down here or possibly a little in front of my ear. What that means is that um, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of kind of full updos. I won't be pulling it way back, even though this lace front is so good. I mean, the lace goes all the way down to the ear tab. So theoretically, if you had good coverage, you've got a lot of great lace coverage there. But that's okay. I have found what works for me, which is just pulling that front off. And then the rest of this hangs down and you can't see that coverage anyway. The cap fits me like a glove. Otherwise, super, super comfortable cap. It's one of my most comfortable non-hand tied caps you know this has a lace front and a mono top um, and I just love it so I wear it all the time so that's just what I want to come and tell you guys the fibers are holding up so great um, if I wanted to get more wave out of her I would just spray her with water and scrunch her up or use a little bit of product to get her you know I can get a messy look I can get a little more casual tamed look out of her um, washing her just right now she's got a lot of flyaways and is looking a lot like natural hair because I've been wearing her so much as soon as I wash her up though she'll you know she'll tame down a little bit I will wash her and then I'll scrunch her and get some more curl back out of her so I, I just am raving about her this isn't you know this wig is just perfect for every day. She's going to last a long time. I know it because she doesn't hang on my clothes and she doesn't hang in my face. So I don't feel the need to constantly touch her and brush her out of the way, which some wigs you do. So that's it. That's my update on Isabella Mano. Like I said, I've had her for nine months. I've worn her so much and she's still going strong and I I anticipate she'll go for a, a long, long time. If you have any questions about this one for me, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, um, in the description box, I'll link where I got her. I did get her from Continental Wigs in the UK. It's one of the few places in the United States that you can purchase Belle Madame wigs. They are great to work with. Fast shipping to the United States. If you use the code WIGSIS, W-I-G-S-I-S, you will get free shipping. And they do have a, like a an expedited shipping option that you can choose with the free shipping. And you might get it within um, less than a week. I've gotten um, orders from them in like three days. I've also gotten them in like 10 days. So kind of depends. I think this time of year, the shipping will probably be kind of fast. If you're watching this right when I'm posting it. Uh, that's it. Please let me know if you have questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps out my channel. The more people who comment and like and subscribe, the more my videos get recommended and the more people who need to see helpful videos on wigs and hair loss will see them. So help out your wig sisters. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.